I've got a Bardens and Oliver releasing tap holder. This is tool number 316. It uses these special collets, which I only have a few of and are almost impossible to find. And of course I don't have the size I need. So that's going to be what we'll make today. So we're going to start off here squaring off the end. And then we're cutting the collet upside down. So this is the square portion in the bottom of the collet. Obviously this is a part that could have been made in a lathe, but by the time I did all the setup and everything, I probably had the part made. The 3 8 inch two flute mill I'm using, 28.54, 12, uh, 12 inches a minute for the roughing pass and 4200 RPM for the finish pass, the same feed rate. This here we're cutting the angle. Uh, it's only going down half a thousandth each step. That collet has a, a angle or a bevel, whatever you want to call it, on the end so that when you tighten it, it squeezes it down and pushes it up against the tap. Not the most exciting video out there, so we're going to skip to the end of this. So here it is finishing up. Now we're going to take a cut on the area that's relieved under the, uh, I don't even know what to call it. But this is a 2 inch uh, T-slot cutter or keyway cutter. 3000 RPM, 15 inches a minute. I've found more uses for this cutter than I can think of. So there's our finish pass there. And now we're going to spot drill and then drill all the way through. 930 seconds is the size hole I needed. And there it is. Not a bad match. So we cut it off the parent stock with the bandsaw. And here I'm just freehanding with the Superfly. Get that face down to a nice finish. And I will say it does leave a very nice finish. So now we'll rotate the collet holder so that we can put the slots in. Again, I'm freehanding it. I did not program either of these two operations. I think that's going to do. Looks pretty good. Let's check it out against the original. So there's the original. There's the one I made. Mine doesn't have the square hole at the bottom. Hopefully I can clamp it tight enough that that's not necessary. So let's mount it up and see how it goes in. Well, it fits. Let's give it a shot. First we pre-drill. Uh, obviously I should have spot drilled first. It's got quite a wobble on that. But let's try it anyway. This is actual speed. Video is not sped up here at all. Tap holder releases. Reverse the spindle. Backs right out. And that's what the finished threads look like. Aside from the hole being off center, it came out pretty nice. I think I'm going to get some use out of this. That's it. Thanks for watching.